Inkjet Miler Bags is a cost-effective and efficient method for adding branding, information, or images to these versatile packaging materials. Miler Bags are made from a type of plastic called polyester, which is strong, durable and able to withstand a wide range of temperatures and other environmental factors. Because of their strength and durability, Mylar bags are often used to package products such as food, medical supplies, and industrial components. Inkjet printers work by spraying tiny droplets of ink onto a substrate, such as paper or plastic. This type of printing is known for its high resolution and ability to produce detailed images and text. Inkjet printers can also handle a wide range of substrates and ink types, making them a versatile option for printing on Mylar bags. When it comes to printing on Mylar bags, one of the most important factors to consider to consider is the type of ink that is used. Many traditional inks, such as dye-based inks, are not suitable for use on plastic substrates because they can smear or smudge. However, there are several types of inkjet inks that are specifically designed for use on plastic, including pigment-based inks and solvent-based inks. Pigment-based inks are a popular choice for printing on mylar bags because they are water-resistant and UV-resistant. This means that the ink will not fade or smear when exposed to water or light. Solvent-based inks are also suitable for use on mylar bags, but they can be more difficult to work with and may require special handling and ventilation. When printing on mylar bags, it is important to use a printer that is designed for use with plastic substrates. Many inkjet printers are not optimized for use with plastic, which can lead to issues with smudging, smearing, or, or poor resolution. Additionally, it is essential to use high-quality Mylar bags that are free of defects and have a smooth surface, as this will ensure that the ink is applied evenly and consistently. When preparing the Mylar bags for printing, it is important to clean them thoroughly to remove any dust or debris that may interfere with the printing process. This can be done by wiping the bags down with a clean, dry cloth or using compressed air to blow away any dust particles. Once the bags are cleaned and ready to print, the next step is to load them into the printer. Many inkjet printers are designed to hold a single bag at a time but some larger industrial printers can handle multiple bags at once. The bags should be loaded into the printer with the sides that is to be printed facing up and the top of the bag facing the print head. Once the bags are loaded into the printer, the printer software is used to set the print parameters such as the print mode type, and resolution. It is important to test the print settings on a small section of the bag before printing the entire batch to ensure that the settings are correct and that the print quality is satisfactory. Once the print settings have been optimized, the printer can begin printing the images or text onto the Mylar bags. Depending on the size of the batch and the complexity of the images being printed, the printing process can take anywhere from a few minutes to several hours. After the bags have been printed, it is important to let them dry completely before using or packaging them. The bags should be placed in an area that is free from dust and debris and away from direct sunlight, as this will help to ensure that the ink dries evenly and does not smear or smudge. In conclusion, inkjet printers are becoming increasingly popular for printing on Mylar bags due to their ability to produce high quality, detailed images and text. Additionally, Inkjet pr jet printers are able to produce large quantities of Mylar bags quickly and efficiently. The main challenges of using inkjet printers to print on Mylar bags include the difficulty in handling the bags and the difficulty in getting the ink to dry.